Hello, and welcome to Let's Make a Top-Down Shooter. This video is about creating weapon attributes and using those attributes to apply damage and fire rate. We're going to start by making a new attribute set for the weapon attributes. This will be a C++ class. The base class will be TDS base set that we created previously. We call this TDS weapon set. Done. I'm going to close the editor, wait for the bar to go away, and hit reload all. So this weapon set will currently just have two attributes, damage and firing rate, and in the constructor, we'll just set damage to one and firing rate. One. As with the previous attribute set, it needs to be added to the component that owns the ability system component, rather the class that owns the ability system component, which is our player state. And lastly, we're going to add these same values as variables to the weapon class. We will also have a bool for is auto fire. We compile this and add back into the editor. Much like the init health set GE, I'm going to create one for the weapon set. So it's a gameplay effect. Call it init weapon set. It's going to be an incident. It will have two modifiers. It will both be override the weapon set damage and the weapon set fire rate. And it will both be using set by color. Create new data tags here for weapon set dot init dot damage. Choose a source, add add new tag, select it, 
and similarly down here, one for firing rate. Next, I'm going to take our BP Pea Shooter. I'm going to rename this to BP Weapon Base. Create a child from that, which will be the BP Pea Shooter. And another, or BP Assault Rifle. In our third person class, then Pea Shooter was renamed. So our default weapon class is now weapon base. We'll just switch this to assault rifle. And in our weapon base, I'm going to move this down, add another tick to our sequence. This will be so that I can use the owner ASC to make an outgoing spec. For our new GE init weapon set. This will assign tag a set by color magnitude. First for the Weapon set init damage, which will be our new damage variable. We'll call a set or a sign tag set by color magnitude again for our firing rate. And lastly, we use the owner ASC to apply gameplay effect spec to self. The variables that we set in uh, C++ are right here. So that in our assault rifle, we can then set the damage to four. The firing rate will pop up to 10 and it will be an auto fire weapon. Similarly, I'm going to take BPP Rename this to projectile base. Create a child from it for PPP. And then in here, I'm going to set the sphere material back to the basic one. Basic shape material. I'm going to promote this to a variable. We'll call this damage. Next, I'm going to create the new ability from our TDS gameplay ability called the GEA Weapon Fire. We'll start as always with get avatar, cast that.
Oh, this two variable character. We're gonna get our weapon. Get the is auto fire from that. And then save that as a variable as well. Gonna remove the spaces. Bring this up a bit. Call committability. Going to create a function called fire. And then check the is auto fire. Hold B and click. If it is false, we'll just call and ability. Otherwise, we're calling wait input release. On release, we're just going to call and ability. If it's true, we want to keep firing, so we'll get the character, get the ability system component. We'll get the gameplay attribute value for the firing rate. We'll divide, take that out, set this to one. So one divided by the firing rate will be how many times it fires, or sorry, the firing rate is how many times it fires in a second. One divided by the value will be the, the delay between each fire. Task, wait, delay. And on finish, not here, we'll be calling committability again, and fire. And that will loop back to here. With some reroute nodes to make it look not so ugly. Now in the fire function, we're going to copy from GAP shooter this block. And I forgot in projectile base, we want this damage value to be instanced edible and expose on spawn. We have that so that we can promote this to a variable. This will be the projectile class. And we need to change this actor to our projectile base. Hover over this, select the class reference. This will ask if you want to go through and change it, which we will do. Then we need to right click this, refresh node and we will, we will get our expose on spawn variables here. Similarly to the firing rate, we're gonna copy that, oops, in here, and change it to damage. The reason why we're using an attribute here instead of getting the damage from the weapon is because the weapon's damage value will be its base and the attribute will be affected by the gas system, which means if you later have added or multiplying values on the base, they'll be affected in here, but they would not be in the, uh, the base value from the weapon.
We also need to go into weapon base. We'll set our default weapon ability class to GA weapon fire. And now we have the assault rifle equipped by default, and you can see it's firing at 10 per second, and it's doing four damage, which means every five bullets will destroy one of these. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video and would like to see more, you know what to do. And if you would like to support this channel or just want to download the project files, you can do so through my Patreon linked below.